Hello, everyone. Welcome. <sighs> My name is Candace. This is FlossTube 31. And today, here in the US, it is Thanksgiving Day. So happy Thanksgiving to everyone who uh, is here in the US celebrating. Um, hopefully you're all staying safe. You're at home, you're with your family. Uh, I am recording today because we did Thanksgiving yesterday. Uh, my husband ended up taking yesterday off and uh, I worked during the day. So when I got home, we had Thanksgiving dinner. Um, sorry, my cat is being a butt. She can see my yarn through my cabinet glass and she wants it because she got a hold of some yesterday that was uh, not as secure as I thought it was. So um, anyway, sorry for the distraction. So let's see, today's Thanksgiving. We did ours yesterday. My husband is the cook in the family. I am, I don't enjoy cooking. I'm not good at it. I don't really know how. Um, I can follow a recipe, but he really enjoys cooking. And so he made Thanksgiving dinner. So when I got home yesterday, it was all ready. And we ate and we watched uh, The Grinch with the kids, the newest one, the newest cartoon one. Um, it was a lot of fun. So today he is at work. I don't know if he's working a full day. Uh, it, it all depends. He said when his boss leaves, he's going to leave. So who knows? Uh, I am not working today because all of the programs I use for my job use banker's hours. So no one's in today. So I'm home. So I thought I would just do my video today instead of last night. So let's see, uh, here's a little embarrassing moment for you. I took a tumble down our deck stairs, not really a, a tumble, more like a th 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 th, um, on my butt. Thankfully I'm, I'm okay. Um, I have a rather impressive bruise. That's probably the worst fall I've ever had. Um, we got snow. And it was just a little bit of snow and then it kind of warmed up just enough to turn it into like slush, like rain snow mix. And the dog was very excited and she really wanted to play fetch. So I put on my shoes, walked outside, went to walk down the stairs very carefully because obviously they were slippery and uh, my feet just, so I have a rather impressive bruise on my bum. It looks like someone took a Sharpie and colored me. So it's a little uncomfortable to sit in certain ways. Um, I'm okay sitting like this, but when I accidentally get into the van the wrong way, it's kind of painful. So, um, oh, and I got a new phone. So we're gonna, we'll see how this works. Um, it's got a lot more storage than my last phone. So hopefully there won't be any interruptions or stopping or anything like that. Hopefully the sound quality is good. Um, the dryer is almost done. If you guys can hear that, I'm sorry, but, um, it had like 10 minutes left. So I was like, well, I'm not going to shut it off. I'll just let it go. Uh, let's see. Today is Thanksgiving, so it's no makeup day. <laughs> I did take a shower for y'all though. So you can go away. I have yarn over here and she knows it. It's kind of scary. So anyway, we would have normally gone to my mother-in-law's this weekend to celebrate Thanksgiving with the whole family. Uh, we are not doing that. Um, my, both my brother-in-laws are staying home with their families. My sister-in-law lives with my mother-in-law, so they will be just the two of them for this weekend. Um, we just, we would never forgive ourselves if we did something to make her sick. So, um, with me getting over a cold and thank you for all of your, uh, get well wishes. I appreciate it. I'm feeling much better, much better. Uh, so yeah, we, she's super bummed, but we are going to, um, video chat with her later when my husband gets home so that she can see the kids and, you know, they miss her and she misses us and it stinks, but hopefully around Christmas time, we'll be able to figure something out so that we can go see her 
and not put her at risk. So let's talk about some stitching, shall we? So this channel is mostly stitching, a little knitting, a little quilting. Um, there, because of my fall the other day, I actually didn't do any stitching that day. <laughs> um, I took a nap in the chair after I fell. But I do have a couple of finishes. So the first one, you guys saw last week, I was just trucking along on this, and I actually ended up working on it um, Wednesday when I recorded, Thursday, and then I finished it on Friday. So I'm very excited. This is from Kathy Haberman. Uh, it is called Winter Chalkboard. And there it is. This is on a 28 count Jobelin that I got from 123 Stitch. And I did make a slight change. So the boots right here, they're supposed to have um, little ties sticking out on them. And I didn't put those in. I liked them just the way they were. So there it is. So this is actually um, available from Hirschner's website. So it's um, Hirschner's.com, I believe. I'll put the link below. But it's called Winter Chalkboard by Kathy Haberman of Hands on Design. You can get this chart there. Um, this was actually a precursor to her Let's Talk chalk series. She's released Autumn and then Winter just came out. So this kind of started it, but she wanted to do something that she was going to be able to have all the seasons together. So there will actually, there's kind of two winters, but not really. Um, Hirschner's owns the rights to this. So um, I'm super excited. I think I'm good. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to frame it or um, if I'm going to finish it with fabric behind it, just like a flat finish. I'm not real sure yet. I don't know. So, but I want to get it done soon because I can get it up and this can stay up all winter. So then my next finish was a mania start and it is Lizzie Kate Kitty String. And this is on a 28 count mushroom Lugana. And there it is. It's so cute. So here, I'll start, we'll start over here and we'll go across. So I started this, um, May, I'm trying to think, what day did I finish it? Oh, May 24th, because I finished it on the 24th of November. So this I just used DMC for. Uh, obviously Lizzie Kate's charts usually call for, um, hand dyed flosses, you know, Weeks Dye Works, Classic Color Works. Uh, I just used DMC and I didn't make any changes to this one. Um, so there's a white kitty. I don't have a white kitty. She's like gray and white, but I didn't really have the brain power to, um, to change much. So. This one is done, so that's another Mania start that is done in the year it was started. Yay! And at the end of the year, I'll go through and um, do like a, a finishes recap probably, and then kind of like plans for 2020. So very excited about those, that I got those done. Uh, let's see, so whips. Whips, whips. So I know I had talked about how I was doing the Wheel of Fortune challenge in uh, Full Coverage Fanatics, and I'm not going to finish it. I, even if I like really like knuck, I knuckled down this weekend, I could get it done. But I don't know what I want to do this weekend. I have some sewing that I really need to catch up on, um, but I also want to stitch, and I can't be in two places at once, so. So I did work on this. This is Christmas Pixie from Charting Creations. Um, the artist is Ruben, I believe it's McHugh. And this it's super interesting, guys. <laughs> so there you go. So I did, um, let's see, five, a thousand stitches this weekend. 
between Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's literally just $37.99 right now. That's it. So, um, I'm excited though because just another diagonal, and I've never done like just a square at a time or diagonal or anything like that, but I thought I would since it was all a solid color and just kind of see, get a feel for it. So this next diagonal is all $37.99 and then the next one I start getting into um, that flower right there. So I thought maybe I would try and see what I think about diagonal and parking and all that stuff. I kind of feel like it's going to be slower for me, but I thought I would try it just to see so that I have some sort of reference for, um, you know, having a reason as to why I stitch the way I do on full coverage. So then I pulled out my linen and threads mystery sampler for 2020. So that is what it is supposed to look like right now. And then obviously December is this big open area right here. And that releases December 1st. I'm not caught up. I am almost done with October though. So I'm using DMC and this is on a 28 count light gray Jobelin. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. I can get the whole thing in there. Look at that. Oh, the dryer's done. Yay. Okay. Sorry. It's a little wrinkly. So that's where I'm at right now. However, all I have left is there's a little tiny, like half of a snowflake, kind of like this right here. And then the motif up here and then October is done. So here is, I finished up this motif and then I did this one and this one. So that's what I got done um, yesterday. And I did use the alternate motif for this one. I didn't use the, the ghosts and the aliens. It was cool looking, but I felt like it didn't really fit. And honestly, if he would have not come out with an alternative, I would have done it. Because here's the... Let me see if I can... <clears throat> So there's the little, the ghosts and the aliens. And so I have, um, I have that motif left to do. So my thing is like, this was his design, but so many people complained about, you know, the, the aliens and the ghosts. And I was like, what's the big deal? But he did come out with the alternate. And in the end, I just decided to do that one. Um, so I am using DMC. I'm using one variegated, it's number 52. And then I pulled five other colors of DMC that go with that. So here is 52. Sorry, there's hardly anything left to it. My other skein is upstairs, so there's that one. And then here are, here's my mess of the other colors that go with it. <laughs> so, um, I definitely would like to get that caught up. I mean, most likely I'm not going to get it caught up by December 1st, but I would like to at least get that motif done for October so that I'm just one month behind. Uh, and then hopefully I will um, finish it in December. That's the goal. So, uh, that's all the stitching I did. I mean, granted, I did get two finishes, and when I started Kitty String, when I pulled it out, I was, I had half of this G done, so I did all of that. So I guess I did get quite a bit of stitching done. Um, and then Winter Chalkboard, obviously I was trucking along. It, I guess my whips wasn't a lot, but I did have two finishes that were quite a bit of stitching, so... Um, I worked a little bit on my slipped rib hat from Jody Brown. She is one half of the Grocery Girls duo. And I know I showed you guys this last week, but I'll show you again. So here's the DK that I'm using. That's Mockingbird. And then here is the um, Silk Mohair. And that's Flamingo. 
so here we are. So I got, um, I was, I think, see that second V right there, the one right in the middle? That's where I was. So not a whole lot, but I did work on it a little bit. So I need to get it done so I can wear it now that it's cold outside. And, and I only worked on this yesterday. I had a doctor's appointment yesterday, so I took it with me to work on and I only got a tiny little bit done and they called me back, so. All right, so then last night, while we were watching The Grinch, my son was snuggling with me and then decided to um, leave me. So this is, let me show you the slip dirt pat in all its completed glory. So that's what it'll look like when it's done. Um, I have a gray pom-pom though, not a pink one. So then this is the Grande Double Wrap from Cozy Up Knits. They also have a um, a YouTube channel. And that is what it'll look like when it's done. So it'll be a double wrap cowl. Um, and I got a couple of rows knit on this last night. So I'm still not, I don't know if I have a ruler over here. Wait. Nope. I don't. I thought I did. I was going to measure it and see where I'm at. I'm probably right around, I would say like nine inches. So I have about six to go. So I got a tiny little bit done on that last night and then the Grinch was over and the boys went to bed and I fell asleep in the chair. So my husband sitting there playing Animal Crossing I'm just snoring away next to him. So 10.30, he wakes me up and we go to bed. So not a very productive night last night. But I don't know if I've pulled this one out yet to show you guys. I, I don't think I have. So this is the Adventuresome Wrap from Amba O'Brien. She is a designer from Australia. So this was actually um, made for yarn advent calendars that would have, say, 24 or 25 mystery colors and then a main color to go in between. So I am using my, my main color is Sunshine Yarns, and it's a color called Parchment. Let me pull that one out. So this is Parchment, and I know it's a hot mess. This is what happens when something lives in a bag for a year before you pull it out again. And then I'm using, hold on, I want to make sure I don't lose any of my tags here. This is Goosey Fibers Advent Calendar from last year. And this was based on um, Harry Potter spells. So let me grab one I finished. So they came in their little... Um, their little skeins and then I wound them all but they each came with a tag which had the number and then obliviate is this one and then it says a charm that can be used to erase specific memories from an individual's mind so each of her tags had an explanation of the spell and then the color so these were, it was very random as to how they were in the box. And I decided I kind of wanted to do um, this one in a gradient. So I waited until they were all open and then I started this. So let me show you where I was at when I started. So I had these done. I feel like I did show this. I'm not sure though. Um, so I had just a few colors done. And then I finished up these two and then I've gotten quite a bit more done so you can see my little see if I can get them in there my little black sheep because that's what I am I'm the black sheep of the family uh, so I do have I don't know where I put them I hid them from the cats but I do have 
um, other stitch markers like that, and they're all white sheep. So here's where I'm at. So I've gotten, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight colors done. So I'm on color nine. And this, it is supposed to be on an angle. So you're uh, increasing on your right side and decreasing on your wrong side. Sorry, right side. And so start beginning. So you're increasing over here and look at all my ends. That's going to be fun. <laughs> I should probably take a, a few minutes to weave those in. So I love this. I mean, look at these colors. They are just gorgeous. Um, I think this one is probably, this one right here is my favorite. And that one is probably my second favorite. Like I want to make socks out of these. I kind of want a hat out of this one. I mean, look at that. That's so pretty. So I would like to, I figured it out and I, I received my advent calendar, which I'll show in haul, but I would really like to have this done by December 1st so that I can start, um, start a new one. So, and I figured it out how much I needed to knit each day, but then I fell asleep last night. So now I'm going to have to rethink that a little bit. Oops, let me get this. So this is a bag we got when we went to Mexico for our 10th anniversary. Um, we were in the Riviera Maya. And so I, <laughs> so I have it in here because the cat can't get to it because the top of it zips. Um, that's it for whips. I did no sewing this week zero. So let's move on into, well, first we had a giveaway last week, right? So we had 30, I believe 32 comments and I didn't write it down. I didn't write it down. I commented. So Carla was the winner of Barbara Anna's Let It Snow. And I commented on her comment. So I just need her to uh, shoot me an email and I will get this out to her. Um, a lot of you guys have not seen snow yet. If it's a, you know, I had neither until the day I fell and busted my butt. So um, congratulations, Carla. Barbara Anna is all yours. Um, if you guys didn't see last week, I was giving this chart away because I already had the digital version and I had ordered. So I really wish websites were like, Hey, you've already purchased this chart. That would be nice. Um, kind of like heaven and earth designs does that. If you look at a chart you've already purchased, it will tell you that you've previously purchased it. So, um, I kind of wish that other websites would have that option because then I wouldn't have purchased twice. But then Carla would have gotten this one to stitch up. And this is great because, you know, a chart like this, you can leave up all year. Or not all year, but you know what I mean, in the winter. It's not just specifically a holiday chart. So congratulations to Carla. Um, I actually have a stack of older charts that I got from my mom. Uh, I went through them, but I'm not prepared to like go through and try and give them away right now. So soon I will probably do that. And if there's somebody out there who wants to stitch those, fantastic. Um, if no one comments that they want that one, that's fine. I will, um, probably take it to Goodwill because you know, there's people out there that find charts that they love at Goodwill. So, uh, let's see. So let's sneak on into haul because there's a little bit. First things first, Joanne's Doorbusters DMC is five for two dollars. So guess what I did? I'm not ashamed. You know what this did? This almost fully kitted my New Year's start, um, New Year, New Start, with Janet Jabber. We're doing Magic Study, which is a full coverage piece from Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, and I also, because a lot of the colors were similar for quarantine cats, 
I went ahead and kit up both of them and they're gonna be in one case. So I'll use the same um, bobbinated floss box for both of those. So Quarantine Cats full coverage, Magic Study full coverage. And I had actually gotten some of the colors from 123Stitch that had um, multiple skeins. So I did take into consideration the ones I had and then I'm doing one over one on 20, I think I'm doing 25 count on one and 28 count on the other. So um, I took that into consideration because the floss list is for two over one. So basically I need half of the, the floss requirements. So if you're doing two over one, you need double this basically. And there were a couple of colors that my Joann's did not have because I have smaller Joann's. Uh, apparently they do not cater to cross stitchers and they have not updated their DMC in years. I'm fairly certain it's years because they have none of the newer colors. Like not even the, you know, like the 1, 2, 12, they obviously don't have those, but the newer colors before that, they don't have. So their new colors are the ones from like three uh, releases ago, I think. So, um, so I got some bobbinating to do, but I have all month. Um, I did consider starting Quarantine Cats um, on November 30th. Uh, November 30th will be the seven year anniversary of my dad passing away from cancer. I just, I don't know, that day is really hard for me because my dad was my best friend. So I just kind of wanted to have something that, you know, that sparked a little joy. So I'm considering starting Quarantine Cats that day. Um, I don't know for sure yet. I might start something different. Because then again, it would be cool to finish it before next year. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. So, I know I mentioned this last week. I needed fabric for Christmas Rules from Lizzie Kate. So, I got that in. I'm doing it on 32 count Platinum Lugana. So I've got the fabric for that, so now I can, I've been worried that I've, I was going to forget. You know how you order stuff and it comes in and you're like, why did I get this? So now I can put the fabric with it. I also got the other um, charts that I did not have, the other six charts, for the Santa series from Hands on Design. So now I have all of those, but I couldn't find fabric. That I liked. So I decided to get White Lugana. This is a 32 count. White Lugana. I'm going to rit dye it with aqua dye and then I will put these on there. So that is the plan for those ones. Uh, I got my sew by row chart. This is going to start in January. This is sew by row um, by Lori Holt. And this is going to be a stitch along with Fat Quarter Shop. I believe it starts January 6th. I could be wrong on the date. I know it's January though. So um, I am all ready to go. I have my flosses. I have my fabric. Now I have my chart. So I will get that put in a bag so that it doesn't get lost. <laughs> and then my Color and Cotton October threads came. These are pretty colors. I didn't have any of these. So we have lemongrass, dusty blue. I really like this color. And witch's brew. I mean, seriously, purple's my favorite color. <laughs> this one's not going to last long. I'm going to find some purple to stitch. So there's the ones we got for October. And then I also got my Three Owl Threads Nest Egg 
the other day, if I can get it open. So I get the 10 classic color works. So we got Golden Star, Clay Pot, um, Creamy Peach. I really like this color. It's really pretty. If you need an alternative to white. Deep Blue Sea. Here's Cottage Garden. Look at the variegation in this. Oh, so pretty. Uh, eggshell. <laughs> you can never go wrong with some eggshell. This is Bramble Bush. And that actually looks a little brighter than what it is. Um, yeah, it's getting blown out a little bit. It's not that bright. It's darker. Uh, dandelion Stem. I'm still working on trying to get the lighting right because... Um, well, for one, new phone, so I, I wasn't sure what was going to happen with this. I turned the light down on my ring light, and it still seems kind of bright. So, I don't know. I'm going to figure something out. So, this one is uh, Finley Gold, which is fantastic because Finley Gold is actually called for in the Lizzie Kate Christmas Rules. And uh, I already had it, so now I have another one just in case. And then Fresh Brew. And this one looks a little... Um, I guess that's pretty close. It's like coffee. So there are those. Sorry. At least it didn't make a sound. My phone vibrated. Who knows what it did. So then I got these charms at Joann's because their holiday stuff is 70% off. Hold on. Santa's being difficult. So I got those, and these are either going to be zipper pulls or um, progress keepers for my knitting, and then I got these ones. Oh, they're so cute. But I couldn't resist, I mean, they were $7.99 and then 70% off, so yeah. Let's see. I got... The most amazing yarn. I hope it shows up a good color on here. So this is from Witch Candy. And I want to say she's in New York. I think. Um, but this is Birch Fire Deconstructed. It's 100% Superwash Merino. Right. So this is going to be a hat. I was going to try and do a hat with a pom-pom, um, but I think this just needs to be a regular hat. So I have two patterns I'm considering, um, but it, it needs to be a hat. I mean, it's amazing. Oh. I wonder if it's still recording. I mean, it shows it's recording, but it says the file size was reached. So we're going to stop it and we're going to start again. There we go. I'll have to figure that part out. So, um, yeah, this is, a, this is amazing. I just love the colors in it. They're, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. But as soon as I saw it, I said, this needs to be a hat. That's, that's all there is to it. And then, who knows, maybe I'll have enough. I can make some fingerless gloves to go with. So, I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way so I can get this gigantic box that's hanging out right here. Because I got this box holds my advent calendar from the Fiber Studio. So I first opened it and I saw this little thing on top and I unwrapped it and it was a needle gauge. So you use this for your knitting needles and you just put them through the hole and whichever one it fits in, that's how you know which size it is. It is wood and it is perfect. It's perfect. So then there was this other little wrapped thing and I was like, what is this? Because this is what I saw when I opened it. Check that out. Each one is in a little box. Let's see. Let's 
take this one on this end. In a little box, all wrapped up, waiting for me to open it. Right? So, then there was this other little thing wrapped in tissue paper, and I was like, what is that? So, these are from... I had to check. I want to make sure I get the name right. Cardinal Woodwork. And so here's what I unwrapped. Is this little tin. And inside. Wooden stitch markers. So they have little sheep on them on one side. And then the other side says the fiber studio. And let me tell you guys. I can't even imagine the work it would take. Look how tiny this is. Oh, sorry about my hands. I scraped and broke some fingernails on the way down when I fell. But look at that. I mean, right? They're, they're tiny and they're perfect. And here's the best part. So usually when people use split ring, these, the top right here, that's the part that goes on your needle to show, you know, like if you're marking how many stitches or the beginning of a repeat. A lot of times those split rings will start to come apart. You guys, they soldered them. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but I'm going to try. Look at that. They soldered the rings so they will not come apart. That's amazing. And there are, I don't know how many are in here. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight. There's 10. There are 10 in here. So I, I love it. I, I just, it's stuff like this. And you guys, this is their very first advent calendar. They've never done an advent calendar before. Um, so I'm going to put my little gift seeds back in there. So I'm very excited and I can't tell you how hard it is. I'm one of those kids that shook the presents and like peeled the tape off and snuck peeks. I cannot tell you how hard it is to not open a box just to look at one, but you would know if I did because this goes all the way over the top of it. The only way to do it would be to like sneak in from the backside, but I'm not going to do it. So I was thinking, I don't know if anyone's interested in this. Will you guys let me know? I thought about doing um, a daily, like, vlog, or Flossmas, Vlogmas, whatever, um, unwrapping these. So let me know. Because if I did that, I probably wouldn't do weekly updates because I would just show what I worked on the day before. Um... Let me know what you think. Would you rather, would you want to see a daily one or would you rather me just show, you know, the days I had opened up to the point of my weekly video? So let me know because I know some people enjoy those. I know some people don't. Um, I don't want to drive anybody away, but at the same time, you know, that's, it is a lot of work to get on and, you know, record every day, especially because some of the days I don't work. This is, it's rough. I think that's the point though. So then I just got a few more things from Fat Quarter Shop. I'm very excited. Oh, let me show you the, um, what I'm looking at doing for that one. Maybe. If I can turn my tablet on. So I'm having a moment. Oh. It signed me out. Let me sign myself back into Ravelry. So what I was thinking is... It does not like my finger, apparently. My Kindle's being stubborn. So there is, there are two patterns that we are going to get on November 30th for getting this box. Um, one is, I 
from Casapinka. I should have had this done before, but it just occurred to me. And it is, oh no, hold on. I don't know if she has the pattern up yet. It's the secret life of cats. Oh, there it is. It was down a little ways. So what it is, is it, it shows that you can use just four colors or you can use an advent for it. But if you use an advent, they recommend, uh, having all your boxes open so that you can put the colors where you would like them. I don't know. I kind of like the thought of knitting, um, every day, one of those. So the other one I was looking at doing is the adventurous wrap from Amba. And that is this one. So this is another one from Amba O'Brien and this is the adventurous wrap. So I thought about doing this one instead. Um, I can't remember if these yarns are in a gradient or if they are uh, random, but in this, it doesn't have to be a gradient. It could totally be random. So this was one of her first um, advent patterns. So I might do this one instead just so that I can stitch every day. So we'll see. Anyway, okay. So back to the stuff. So I did get this magnetic pin dish to go on my sewing machine. And then I got some more pins. I know that's the boring stuff. This is Northern Light. Um, who's this by? Annie Brady for Moda. So I got this charm pack, or layer cake, sorry. And I'm actually considering using this. I was going to make uh, like a lap quilt out of it. Just a really easy layer cake um, lap quilt. But then I decided that I was going to make um, tree skirts. Because we got the boys a little four and a half foot tree for their ornaments. And then we have a seven and a half foot tree. So you can see the colors. Very traditional like Christmassy colors. I don't know if I'm going to use this to make a tree skirt for ours or if I'm going to um, use some other fabrics that I have. I haven't decided yet. But then this, I had showed you guys before in my Jolly Box, I got the Hello Deer. And I think I'm going to make the boys out of, I got a honey bun. So this is Hello Deer because they're brighter colors. And then I thought I could hang up that um, little wall hanging panel quilt, you know, thing behind their tree. And then they would have a tree skirt that matched. So I think I'm going to do their tree skirt out of this one. And then I'll figure out something for ours. So I also got, these are, I'm going to take the plastic off because I feel like you can see the colors better. So this is from Sherry and Chelsea. And this is called Balboa. This is their newest fabric line that just released. And this is a jelly roll. So it's uh, 42, two and a half inch strips. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I loved it, so I had to have it. And finally, Shine On is the newest from Bonnie and Camille. And I decided to try out the pre-cut hexes. So this is their fabric line, all in pre-cut hexes. So what you would do with these ones is you would use one inch, these are one and a half inch hexes, so you'd use one inch hexy papers, you would baste them, and then you would hand sew them together. So I don't, I found a pattern from, um, it's actually a pattern from Sherry, from Sherry and Chelsea. On Etsy, it's, her store is Sherry Quilts, and it's all of her quilt patterns. Um, but I found she's got a pattern that uses hexes. So I thought I would do this and then I ordered some coordinating fabric for um, like the binding and uh, the little strips that go in between the blocks. So the, it's kind of like sashing. I guess that would be the sashing part. Um, but 
when I get that pattern, I'll show it off. So I'm kind of excited about those. Last thing. I opened this one already because I couldn't wait. So this is, there you go. It's Clover. It's a rubber thimble. Now, my finger was getting really sore from stitching in hand. And it right here, because that's where the needle, like when I poke through, that's where I feel it and then, you know, go back through. So I can feel the needle going where it needs to go. So my finger was super sore when I was working on um, winter chalkboard. So this is just, it's a rubber thimble and it fits so good, but I'm telling you what, my finger was worlds better once I put this on. It was so much easier. And yeah, it is rubber, so it kind of sticks a little, and my finger did get a teeny little bit sweaty inside, but not for quite a while. Um, but it really did help. Now there are holes in it. You can see them. You just want to make sure that the holes are not right where your needle is going to hit because then it's like not having it on at all. So there's actually two in this package. Uh, one of them is in with my stitching stuff. So, so yeah, I think that's all I have this week. Now I have a hot mess to clean up. Um, as far as plans go, you know, I am one of those people that I, I have wicked FOMO, fear of missing out, and I'm easily enabled and I like to join in all the things, and I know Black Needle Society is doing the 12 Days of Stitching, and I watched their video here on YouTube, and I, I, from what I gathered, it was a little hard to kind of follow, but from what I gathered, they're doing, um, one they're doing a new start every other day. So they'll do a new start, work on it for those two days, new start, two days. I can't do that. I already decided that mania was probably not the greatest idea for me because I have so many whips and I just kind of want to stitch on everything. So I think my plans for this week, I need to get some writ dye so I can dye the fabric for these. And then I would love to start... Christmas rules, and I went ahead and I picked out fabric from my stash for these ones that I showed you last week. So these two are both on blue, and I actually had, this is just from Hobby Lobby that I've had for quite some time. It's their Artiste, but it's a 28 count even weave in blue. So I don't know if I'm going to I, I don't want to do a whole bunch of new starts because I do have Kringles. Kringles was a mania start and I would really like to work on that in December. So for sure I'm going to do Christmas rules and hands on design, the Santas. And then I have fabric for a lot of this other stuff, but, um, pull out my other two and stick them in. But I don't know if I want to start all that stuff right now. I feel like I need to have some more finishes to make it worthwhile. So there are a couple of smaller ones in here, like this um, from Pickle Barrel Designs, Tis the Season. So I have Ada that I can stitch that on. And that would be a fairly quick stitch. And then, um, where's the other one? This one right here. So I had a whole bunch of these 28 count Monaco. They're just like little scraps that cut off from other projects because I had mentioned that I wanted to make two of these and then do this one. So I think this one, I have three pieces of fabric for this, one for each kid and then this one. Um, I would really like to start this one too. And then I think if I had to choose one more, It would probably be this one and I would do all of it so all five of the little things and this one and I have a whole bunch of scraps of fabric 28 count tea dyed Monaco and you probably just saw the stitching 
these were the ones that I started for Mania and was, I didn't, I didn't like, I knew I didn't want to finish. Um, I'd rather stitch stuff that I love. So I'll just cut instead of ripping the thread out, I'll just cut that part off. But so I have fabric for that. So those are the ones that I could really see myself starting and hopefully a few of these finishing in December. Um, but Kringles for sure. That's the, I think that was the one like Christmassy type one that I started for Mania that I would really like to work on. Obviously I don't think I'm going to finish it in December, but I'd like to get a good chunk of it done so that I can work on it throughout the year and have it done for next year. Um, all the rest of these I matched up fabric with. So like this Watch It Snow from Waxing Moon. Um, I have a great color in cotton. This one was the July, the Pearwood, to go with this. So I've got fabric matched up with a bunch of these, but I just, I don't want to have a whole bunch of new starts that then I don't, I want to be able to work on something and enjoy it. So, so I think maybe I'll just stick with these for right now. And then I don't know what I'm going to do today. It's Thanksgiving. My kids are Animal Crossing has their Thanksgiving Day thing, so my my youngest lost the Switch. He he is in no Switch land right now, um, but my oldest is playing Animal Crossing right now. So um, eventually, I'm gonna have to take it away, or else it's gonna maybe one of those parents. But I just I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I would love to sew, but at the same time. If my husband gets out early, it is Thanksgiving. I kind of want to hang out with my family. So if I'm sewing, I'm down here by myself. If I'm stitching, I'm upstairs interacting with my family. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to do today. This week's kind of up in the air. Um, I got some knitting I want to get done. You know. So it'll, it'll be a surprise for you all next week. <laughs> All right, so I think that's it, guys. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. If you're watching this after Thanksgiving, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I hope your Black shop, your Black Friday shopping is happening um, online with your local and small businesses. Uh, I can't even imagine what it's going to look like tomorrow. I mean, our COVID cases are definitely on the rise here. And I just, I really hope people are smarter than what they perceive as a great deal. So, I mean, I went to Joanne's last night instead of going yesterday morning before work because I knew that it was going to be crazy before work. And I also knew that in my area, stitching is not, people aren't going to Joanne's for their stitching supplies. So I knew that I was going to probably be able to get what I needed. And there was only a couple colors that were out. Um, like DMC 310, there, that it was out. Uh, there were a couple other um, unexpected colors that were out, but it's fine because I can either order those on 123Stitch or I can, if I get to make a trip to my LNS, which is House of Stitches in LaPorte, Indiana, then I can get them from her. So... Do I need to make a trip to my LNS? No. I have enough to keep me busy, but you never know. We all like pretty new things. So I hope everyone stays safe this weekend, and I hope you don't get too full that you fall asleep and take a nap for three hours and miss out on crafting time <laughs> like I did last night. So I'm going to go get the kids lunch and get this uploaded, and I will see you guys next week. Happy Thanksgiving!